Poland, officially the Republic of Poland, is a country located in Central Europe with the capital named Warsaw. Poland is the sixth most populous member state of European Union. The history of Poland has its roots in the migration of Slavs, who established permanent settlements in the Polish lands during the early Middle Ages. According to mainstream archaeological research, Slavs have resided in modern Polish territories for over 1,500 years. Poland began to form into a recognizable unitarian territorial entity around the middle of the 10th century under the Piast dynasty. Poland expanded under its first two rulers, Mieszko I and Bolesław I. In 1386, Grand Duke Jogalia of Lithuania converted to Catholicism and married Queen Jadwicka of Poland. This act enabled him to become a king of Poland himself, and he ruled as Władysław II Jagiello until his death in 1434. The marriage established a personal Polish-Lithuanian union ruled by the Jagiellonian dynasty. In the 16th century, Protestant Reformation movements made deep inroads into Polish Christianity, and the resulting Reformation in Poland involved a number of different denominations. The Polish Golden Age occurred in the beginning of the 16th century, in which the country's political system evolved into an early democratic monarchy and became one of the first multicultural states in history, with minorities' rights protected by the Union's laws. The reigns of King Sigismund I the Old and King Sigismund II Augustus witnessed an intense cultivation of culture and science, of which the astronomer Nicholas Copernicus is the best-known representative. Jan Kochanowski was a poet and the premier artistic personality of the period. After the rule of the Jagiellonian dynasty, Henry of Valois, later King Henry III of France, was the winner of the first free election by the Polish nobility held in 1573. A period of rule under the Swedish House of Vasa began in the Commonwealth in the year 1587. The first two kings from this dynasty, Sigismund III and Vladislav IV, repeatedly attempted to intrigue for accession to the throne of Sweden. After that was the reign of John II Casimir Vasa, the nobles' democracy fell into decline as a result of foreign invasions and domestic disorder. These calamities multiplied rather suddenly and marked the end of the Polish Golden Age. From the middle of the 17th century, the nobles' democracy, suffering from internal disorder, gradually declined, thereby leaving the once powerful Commonwealth vulnerable to foreign intervention. There was the Deluge, a Swedish invasion of Poland, which marched through the Polish heartlands and ruined the country's population, culture, and infrastructure. Around 4 million of Poland's 11 million inhabitants died in famines and epidemics throughout the 17th century. However, under John III Sobieski, the Commonwealth's military prowess was re-established, and in 1683, Polish forces played a major role in the Battle of Vienna against the Ottoman army, commanded by Kara Mustafa, the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire. In 1764, Stanislaw August Poniatowski was elected to be the new king. He spent his reign torn between his desire to implement reforms necessary to save the failing state and the perceived necessity of remaining in a subordinate relationship to his Russian sponsor. Although no sovereign Polish state existed between 1795 and 1918, the idea of Polish independence was kept alive throughout the 19th century. There were a number of uprisings and other armed undertakings waged against the partitioning powers, such as the Uprising of November 1830, the Uprising of January 1863. Both were unsuccessful. After more than a century of foreign rule, Poland regained its independence at the end of World War I as one of the outcomes of the negotiations that took place at the Paris Peace Conference of 1919. On the eve of World War II, Poland was far from ready to confront Nazi Germany, which had been preparing for war for years. On September 1, 1939, Hitler ordered an invasion of Poland, the opening event of World War II. Poland had signed an Anglo-Polish military alliance as recently as the 25th of August and had long been in alliance with France. The two Western powers soon declared war on Germany, but they remained largely inactive and extended no aid to the attacked country. The greatest single undertaking of the Polish resistance movement in World War II and a major political event was the Warsaw Uprising that began on the 1st of August 1944. Even though Poland ended the war on the winning side and was re-established as a state, it fell under the influence of the Soviet Union and was forced to adopt communism as its political system and a satellite government, strongly dependent on its sponsors in Moscow. Labor turmoil in 1980 led to the formation of the independent trade union Solidarity, which over time became a political force. Despite persecution and imposition of martial law in 1981, it eroded the dominance of the Polish United Workers' Party, and by 1989 had triumphed in Poland's first partially free and democratic parliamentary elections since the end of the Second World War. Lech Walesa, a solidarity candidate, eventually won the presidency in 1990. 
The Solidarity Movement heralded the collapse of communist regimes and parties across Europe. The democratic opposition that took power at the turn of ages decided to refer to the tradition of the Second Polish Republic and renamed the country the Third Polish Republic. Poland immediately embarked on a path of fundamental reform, rapidly switching from a one-party system to political pluralism, from a state-controlled economy to a free market, as well as changing its international orientation from being a part of Soviet bloc to joining NATO in 1999 and the European Union in 2004. After years of turbulent history, the country has finally found some stability and chance for growth and peace. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other animated history shows, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.